For everything else, you would run there. To is that how you, is that your basic setup? Yeah. To go to tech. Exactly. To me, that that's your, your main critical startup points, particularly if you're a beginner. Um, follow that. Go detecting. Yep. What we've got here is a good balance between really good sensitivity to tiny targets, whilst having good depth on big targets, and a nice smooth running detector. Yep. Um, after that, there's a few things we can do just to squeeze a little bit more performance out. So let's talk about getting a bit more performance out. Yep. This is where our sort of pro tip comes in a bit. Yep. So if you go out, if you go out to your goal field, yep. right, and your machine's cranky and noisy yep. on that particular day, yep. to start with. What environmental things affect that? Yep. And then how do we control the machine to yep. get better results? Well, I suppose it depends a lot on the time of day, season, you know, if it's a hot day or a cold day. Moisture wet, soil. Yeah, moisture, exactly. So uh, the best thing to do is to start with what we've just done in the factory presets because that'll give us a good benchmark. Yep. Um, if your machine is running really, really smooth and it ground balances super easily, um, we can do a couple of things to give us a bit more performance. So we can actually increase our receive gain setting, for instance, just to give us a little bit more response to certain targets. Or if our machine is very noisy and it's very hard to ground balance, we can actually drop that receive gain setting down a little bit just to smooth the machine's audio. So that first step, yep. whether it's noisy or quiet, yep. is RX gain. RX gain is right. the first. first so that's receive gain, yes. right? Now the other setting I normally go to is stabilizer. Yep. So what's the difference between RX gain and stabilizer? So RX gain uh, or receive gain is basically the machine putting extra amplification uh, onto targets the machine receives. Yep. So it doesn't matter if it's a metallic target, a ground response or electronic, the machine's RX gain is going to amplify all of it. Yep. And what we're trying to do is strike a balance between having a really quiet machine with clear audible signals or a very noisy machine that has very loud obvious signals. Yep. Um, I come from a school of detecting where I like to have a perfectly smooth detector with very quiet signals because they're easy to hear. Yep. Um, so it always pays to you know start with the stabiliser at the game, bring it down a little. The stabiliser is a fine tuning tool so once we have got um, our receive game set and it ground balances nicely, runs smoothly, we can smooth it out further by adjusting the stabiliser. So that's how you think about it. You think RX gain, RX gain is a course yes, to get it to close, yep. and then stabilizer is tweaking. Yeah, well, the stabilizer is essentially a filter. Yep. So if you think about your threshold as being warbly, yep. when we turn that stabilizer setting down, those warbles get cut off. Yep. So we're taking a little bit of audio information out yep. and making it smoother. Yep. Whereas, uh, so when you're patch hunting, for instance, you don't want to listen to all the whispers. You want to just listen to um, obvious targets. Yep. So you want a nice quiet machine that you can move very quickly with. Yep. Whether When you're on a patch, for instance, and you've maybe targeting lots of the small stuff, we can then increase that stabiliser setting to let more audio information through, yeah. which might just score you a couple, a couple more pieces. small ones or the deep ones, yeah. yeah. So generally yeah. we find stabiliser keep it about two points below the gain setting, and that gives you a nice smooth machine with plenty of audio. So stabiliser two, two points below the RX gain, and that gives you a nice yeah. balance in the machine. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so then, once once you, let's talk about that once you've got, when you're on a bit of help, yeah. right? How would you then, what would you do with the machine then to, make sure you've got all that gold out of that area. Yeah, what, yeah. Are, what are your steps? So basically the idea is to try and get as much as you can out with factory default settings and a minor adjustment of your gain and stabiliser. Yeah. Um, and that may that may involve running different, slightly different settings a yeah. couple of times over that patch. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It always pays to go over the patch at least two or three times from